What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. I wanted to make this video because I was talking to someone on Instagram about this and the funny thing is is that I've had multiple conversations with multiple different people about the same topic and I have never made a video about it. So today is a day I'm going to make a full video on what to do before you PCS financial. So if you're new to my channel, a little backstory. I PCS from Texas to Japan, from Japan to Alaska, Alaska back to Texas, multiple PCSs. So I know a little bit about what to do or how to prepare for PCS. The main question that I usually get is how do you prepare for PCS financially? The number one thing that I always tell people is that as soon as you get to your next duty station, make an, a, a separate account to start saving some money for your future PCS. Of course, everyone's financial situation is different, but I highly recommend you guys put something, anything into those accounts so that when the time comes, you can prepare accordingly because as you know, military families never know where they're gonna go. And in our case, our first move was from Texas to Tokyo. We had a car at the time, we had to sell it because we couldn't take it with us. So of course we needed that money to buy a car when we got to Japan, amongst other things. But for all of you military families, you know how PCS moving can be. When we left Japan to Alaska, we knew that we were gonna have to get a car. Financially, that was something we needed to prepare for. So we saved up about 10 grand so that once we arrived, we can buy a car cash. We actually found out in Japan that we can ask for three months in advance, and that's actually what we did. So that really helped us transition from Japan to Alaska. At that time, we got about 7,000 up front, and then we paid for it that first year in Alaska. So essentially, they take out money out of our account um, before we even see it in order to pay back those three months in advance, which is perfectly fine You can actually schedule whatever works best for you that really helped us out. Of course We lived on base. So it was a little bit different. So I highly recommend asking for advance payment for UPCS out to your, new, your next duty station. Now this will have to be approved by your commander, so that is something you have to do before you even receive it. Lalo, my husband, he actually went and spoke to the financial people on base and his commander and had multiple meetings. They did ask him multiple things like um, how much debt you have, you know, are you prepared? How much money do you have in saving? They help you go through what some expenses will be and how to accommodate to your next place. But um, also they wanna know that you're gonna be able and capable of being responsible with that amount of money, let alone surviving on less monthly pay because you're having to pay it back every month for a year or two, depending on how you set it up. From Alaska, we moved to, back to Texas and we asked for the same thing. We asked for three months in advance pay in order to accommodate us in our move and anything that we needed to do. And in this case, we actually bought a home. So that, uh, that payment actually helped with the closing cost of this house. So anyways, I wanted to make this video because this has been something that people have asked me multiple times, you know, how do I prepare for PCS? What should I start doing? And 100% of the time, I always recommend to start saving for your next PCS move. In our case, they gave us like 2,900 for dislocation allowance, which is just allowance uh, for you to transit. But we all know that that can go fairly quick depending on your situation, whether you're renting a car, you know, having to stay in an Airbnb until you can get a house or, you know, all these things can add up and that sometimes may not be enough and you have to be prepared financially to move to your next base. I don't know why I didn't think about filming this video sooner, but I thought I'd film it here and share with you guys some of the things that we did as an Air Force family moving multiple times overseas and stateside. It has been super helpful and I highly recommend you guys, if you didn't already know about asking for three months in advance or two months or one month, whatever the case may be, but highly recommend you guys doing that if the, if this is something that you may be concerned about. I'm actually editing the video right now and I just wanted to 
say one more thing about this whole um, advanced pay. Like, even if you feel like you don't need it and you have money saved up or, you know, your PCS, I still would recommend doing it because one, you just never know what's gonna happen like along the way, in transit, whatever, you know, there's, I hear so many stories about people not getting reimbursed for Airbnb that they had to stay, um, you know, a month because they couldn't find an apartment or a house. Um, and I've been seeing that a lot lately because of the market here in Texas and just houses are going like that. So um, I still would recommend you guys asking for an advanced pay because it's better to have it in your account. It's basically like a, a loan without interest. So it's your money, you're just asking for a lump sum of it and even if your paycheck gets lower for that first year that you're there, you will still have that money set aside in your account that you have access to to accommodate accordingly. Uh, that's what we're doing right now with this PCS to Texas and we still have that money saved in our account for whatever happens, you know, whether that's catching up on the, the bills or the house, the mortgage, or just stocking up on the groceries. <laughs> that first initial grocery haul is, is a lot. I just wanted to put that out there to kind of look at it as a loan without interest and you can accommodate your payments accordingly. Okay, let's get back to the video. <laughs> I hope this video has been helpful. If you guys liked it and you have any other questions in regards to PCS, um, I'm always open to making a video for you guys or DMing you personally about this situation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in future videos in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!